Hello again, everybody. It's Harry Boxer, the technical trader at thetechtrader.com. It's Thursday, the 26th of October. And these are the charts for the day. Well, the markets had an interesting day today, but didn't close well. You can see that, uh, and they were mixed technicals, pretty flat on it as, as it goes. Considering that yesterday was a rally back, today was actually kind of a negative, m meaning that we, we could not get up through resistance, and we could, and we closed fairly poorly near the low end of the range. If we should, <coughs> if we should <coughs> gap down tomorrow, uh, we could very easily test the lows or, get, or worse. Right now, your key support is right where we close around 6038. It's a minor support of 6030. And then we have the major area down here from yesterday morning or yesterday midday that tested the 6010 15 zone. On the SP, a support at 255860 is taken out. We could plunge towards 2554 and then test the lows of 2544. So that's what we want to try to avoid. But you can see that the declining top sign of the last four days has thwarted this advance several times today and finally rolled it back over. Uh, in terms of the NASDAQ 100, it's kind of similar. Taking a look at the pattern now, you'll see that the declining tops of the last four sessions thwarted today's advance as well. And so we're in a bear uh, down channel, and until we change that, uh, we may even go lower. But uh, for today, there were some really strong stocks on the plus side, and I want to show that to you as well. AXTI, hey, I've been in a beautiful uptrend for um, a year and a half, almost two years now. Yeah, it's actually a couple of years. It's gone from literally two, three dollars all the way up to uh, nine and change, 970 was the high recently. It pulled back, popped and pulled back, and today was an engulfing bar. I really like that pattern. The volume was heavier, uh, the best in about four or five weeks, if not more. And it closed near the upper end of the range. If it gets to 970, I'm looking at 11 and 12. There's 4.8 days to cover. Well, trucking group in particular and, and the transportation stocks have just done great. The transportation index had a big gain today, and, and a lot of that was due to airlines and truckers. Some of the major truckers like KNX and um, YRCW are moving as well, but little Celadon, which had gone in May all the way down to uh, you know under a dollar fifty, has been running like wildfire. It's up to five folds since then, and you can see that today it broke out above a triple top, maybe headed for the key overhead resistance near the nine and a half, half three quarter range short term. Fifteen point two seven days to cover. Squeezes on in that one. Swing trade diodes really doing well. It hit both of my targets. At, I think it was thirty one and thirty five, and you can see how uh, thirty or thirty four and a half, thirty five, and today. 34.94 high, and so it's at longer term resistance as well. Looking back at the really long term resistance, um, if this should get over the 2011 highs, and that's about 34 and a half, and that's something to watch for. We'll go, uh, we're right there actually. 34.67. Now, today's high was 34.82, so we made a nominal new high above that. And if this accelerates here, this can blow into the $40 range pretty quickly. So if you're long, stay long. If you peel back a little bit here, that's fine. At this point, I would set my stops around 32. I may raise my stop on that one. I don't want to make it too tight though, but look at the trend line, it's very strong. Blue chip DWDP, the merger of Dow and DuPont, uh, broke out today and, it, and it's popping nicely. It's at a multi-year high. Looking at the long-term chart, we'll see that uh, the stock has just ripped since the uh, 2009 low. Um, which got it all the way down around six, believe it or not. And now it's, it got up to 73 today. Um, and from a long term standpoint, is at all time highs. Where this goes further, and that's always a tough call when you're in new all time high territory, but just a potential projection tells me this could be a $100 stock down the road. 100, 110 range. Grubhub, trending beautifully. Broke out of a wedge yesterday, followed through today. I think this stock's headed for high 60s to 70. 12.25 days of coverage short. Iridium broke off across four tops today with a nice pop. 35 days of coverage tells me this may go higher. The long term chart shows multiple tops in this area. If we can get above that, we're looking at a $15 stock at least, I think. 35 days of cover, really? Amazing. Um, Iratamed, which popped sharply across its declining top sign. Let's take a look at this. This stock traded all the way up in the mid 30s and had come down all the way down to 8 9 zone before basing out. Today it really exploded and it did it with uh, um, not the biggest volume, but of course, with 30, uh, 51 days to cover, which is unheard of, this, stock, this could be wildfire. Now it did back off of the 15 range. It closed at 1255, so it wasn't the best close, but it was still up to 35, which is normal for a thinly traded stock. If it backs in filter or if it extends, my targets are 16.5 and 19 going forward. 
here's another example of that trucker we told you about, KNX, is uh, the merger of Knight and Swift, and it is moving. Um, looking at the longer term chart, you'll see that this is all time high territory. If we get KNX to move through here, and it really starts to rope mojo, we could see a $67 stock going forward. Quite attractive. A sh shorter term chart, though, on an intermediate basis, would be somewhere around mid 50s. Let's get this one going. It's right at resistance here. Keep an eye on this one over 42, you may start to run. 8.15 days to cover. Nutanix with an inside day, positive one in my opinion, up 57 cents or 2%, but it feels to me like if it can take out the recent spike high, across 28.50, I'm looking at a 31, 32, $34 type stock. And it's almost five days to cover. OPNT with a mon monstrous move today. Check out this late move here. In about 20 minutes, it was up $15. And then it pulled back at eight. And that's normal. Um, and about a 50% fib retracement. Um, but on the daily chart, this is what it looks like. Exploded, pulled back right to the breakout point, with a huge volume for this stock, and it is thin. Um, so keep an eye on the action right here, because if it gets up through, and this would be your target, 51 and 51.90 in that range, it may blow into the 60-70 range. Something big going on there. OSTK continues its momentum, another phenomenal move up 470 or 11 percent. 4.4 million traded, big volumes in it. It may be uh, at this point short term extended and is at my target. Um, looking at the longer term chart, going way back, you'll see some resistance in this zone right here that could back it off. It should have blown through that and go to its all time high that was reached in 04 at 77. Now, I'm not telling you this is a $77 stock, but with it's involvement in Bitcoin, who knows where they want to take this thing. Bottom line is, mo momentum is phenomenal, six days to cover, and you can see that even after hours, the stock was up to 46.80. More to go, we'll see. PSTG, one of our swing trades, is moving, and it's right at resistance. If we can get this above 16.64, I'm looking for 18 and a quarter and 19 and a half, 20. Night token chart with 7.6 days to cover. SQ, rock and roll, it keeps going, it's over 34 now. I got up nearly 30, 34 and three quarters this morning. You remember originally I gave this to you a year ago at literally 11 and 3 quarters, 12 range. So this stock has gone, you know, triple and still with a fantastic chart. It may have more momentum to get it to the 38, 40 range my next target. Well, low price SRAX has been choppy but up, and you can see the wedge has formed here. Keep an eye on this one tomorrow. If it gets to 4 and 3 quarters, it may run. Targets are 6, 7, and 9. STM Micro, some of the semiconductors are just going ballistic again. You can look at the long term chart on this one. A year and a half ago, it was traded at 5. Here it is at 23. It looks like it's headed towards 30. TER is another. Exploded for 291 or 7.5% today, with five days to cover short. It's through resistance. You might see 45, or you might see 48.50. TILE, Tile or Interface. This stock, after breaking out of the base and flagging, now broke out today with a thrust. I put a swing on it. I like the look of it. I'm looking for 24 and a half and 27. Something like that. Twitter with a monstrous move today, 112 million shares. It's the second or third biggest volume I've ever seen on a stock. Anyway, bottom line is, you can see resistance at 2088 here and 2090 there. So there's this resistance across this level. You can get up to that. We may see the stock in the 23, 24 range. Five days to cover short. Big day today. And close at the upper end of the range too. Very, very nice. Little VIS stock with a nice follow through today. It popped all the way up to 485 before backing off to 410. It was still up 70 cents. Or 20%. Volume is heavy, 3.6 million, but there is resistance up here. I would expect that a stock that goes from 2 to 5 nearly may have some backing and filling in here or setting up. But if momentum carries it further, there's no telling if this stock is done yet, and it might very well see 6 before not too long. And finally, XNET, stock I've shown you a couple times in the last week. You can see the pop, pull back, another inside day, and then another run today. It was resistance at about the eight and a quarter range. We got up to eight fourteen, so we're right there. If we extend and momentum gets us to up at nine and three quarters, is my next target. But it's getting a little longer in the tooth, as in the last week and a half alone, it's gone from four and a quarter to eight fourteen or doubled. On a long term basis, what does that mean? Well, I can see this range here, and then way up there. I don't say this stock's going to go up to fourteen, but eventually, on a long term basis, that will be the target. And that's it for tonight, everybody. Have a good evening.